we <laughs> were kicked out of the tent once because it was crane coming through. They said they'd smush us if we didn't leave. They yeah, literally moved the whole tent. Can't be smushed. <laughs> <laughs> were you familiar with the game at all before you? And, and why did you decide to join a video game movie? Because those don't pan out very well. <laughs> Is that right? They don't? <laughs> yes! They don't? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my last day. So. Uh, I joined up because of Duncan, and uh, I'd seen Moon, uh, and it was clearly made by, by a very inventive filmmaker. Um, when I read the script, I mean, they said Duncan Jones is directing a giant movie based on a giant video game, uh, was, and you would play a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I liked about the script was that it showed both sides of, of a battle, of a war, a perspective of, of war. Uh, and it's a tricky time for cinema these days where telling a story or getting across a message sometimes it's better to do that through fantasy than independent um, uh, so I, I was uh, I was excited about asking those questions in, in, in a very heightened way do you actually enjoy the you haven't done a lot of SF, uh, big special effects heavy movies like a few but not not as many as uh, a lot of young actors have these days like uh, do you enjoy that process or do you find it would you rather stay away from it generally uh, it, it's a new outing for me for sure uh, I, What's exciting about it is, is the interaction of different departments. Mm. Uh, playing with the guys from ILM is, is a great kick. Mm. And hearing how they're, they're pushing this technology forward is... To be a part of that, to be an element within that build, is it's exciting. In terms of... Uh, is it a... Th the costumes are more elaborate than what you might call like a, a jeans and a t-shirt movie. Uh, but that has its own... In, you can't help but feel different. Mm. I mean, any of us can relate to this, whether you're an actor or not. If you put on pajamas, you, you feel a particular way. If you put on a tuxedo or a dress, you feel a different way. So what Mayas has developed, uh, wardrobe-wise, is, is uh, beyond honoring the game, it's, it's bringing a character to, into a heightened stage. And that's, that's exciting. Tell us a bit more about your character. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a visitor, but what kind of visitor? How did you approach the role? What, what do you like about your character? What, what, what I what I like about it is is we're speaking to Duncan on how he was approaching this kind of mythology, which was based in more traditional westerns and samurai pictures. So there, there are a lot of wide shots. They're, 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 it's it's a huge movie. They they use the the uh, the Leica lenses, which which allow you to push that 18 glass and see the world. And the depth of field is, is, is tremendous. They're going to do a 3D conversion, so we're dealing with a very epic scale and these these enormous sets. So approaching it the way that a samurai might have put up his sword or put it away, or a gunslinger might have put away his his guns. We meet Nadiv when he's being requested by his old friends to, to dust off his weapon and return and, and, and help uh, help their side of the battle. I, I appreciate that, that, that kind of... Uh, the, the begrudging uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, warrior returning to battle is an exciting thing to play with. You said, stepping back just for a second, you talked about how this movie was talking about two sides of the war seems a way of pushing a message to your Can you elaborate on that? And what, what is the message that you saw in the script that you were really excited about? Um, at its most basic, uh, one can't say, you cannot say that if you're over here, you're the good guys. And the guys over there are the bad guys. You, as a human being, we, we cannot say that. We can say that we don't believe in politics. We can have a difference of agreement culturally, but to say that those are bad and these are good uh, is insanity. And that is the root of all war. There, there are people that, that have a less compassionate view on the cost of life, the value of a life. And those characters are represented quite um, um, uh, extravagantly in this particular picture what Duncan and I haven't of course seen the finished product but what I read 
and I know they shot, was going into both sides of a battle, of seeing the family and the cost of war on both sides. And, and to me, that's, that's, a, that's a message that will never get old. So you don't see it. Yeah, often. that's a great way to look at that. We'll see who, if it pans out. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we might be just. I'm bit. on board. All right. <laughs> Get one. Yes. So, like with the with the mage and stuff, like, do you, did you kind of think about things like kind of meditation and kind of the, the ways that sort of people pull in sort of bits of magic and that sort of thing? Like, did that sort of influence how you looked at the character, or did you try and kind do you of meditate? draw from within? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I have tapes, but not. Tapes. Not, uh, not transcendental or anything like that. Uh, it's hard for me to separate that because I am a meditator and mm. I've been meditating since I was very young. Oh, right. Okay. Um, in terms of turning in to uh, harness a energy or mm. an, an, an attention, I mean, mm. that's, that's all energy is. Yeah. It's a focus of attention, which is focus. So... Uh, it was about building a visual vocabulary mm. that integrates with ILM and mm. what they're going to build. The, the, the visual aspects along with a movement vocabulary which could suggest uh, real... Uh, ha the mechanics of magic. Mm. Yeah. So the man responsible for, for, for building the, uh, the character movements, Terry Notary, uh, and I worked on developing this kind of language. So we, we would go and I went into particular books on based on different versions of magic and making it real, smaller versions that represent a bigger scale. Where do you take it from? Are you conduit? Are you satellite? Or are you generator of such focus energy? Yeah. Um, how easy does it come? Do you have to grasp for it? So these are the, the, the fun questions to go to work and, and say, uh, and what sort how of do I make it real? you come up with for those things? Like, is it a big gesture thing or is it a drawing in like the, you were saying like the conduit thing or like is it painful well uh, you gotta see the picture <laughs> <laughs> it's like how do you drive a car yeah. well, you might be driving a car one way in the rain and yeah. another way in the snow and yeah. another way on a sunny day and another way in a, in a field and, and Medivh is dealing with uh, I suppose an aspect which is he doesn't really want to be back mm. It's he's charged with this responsibility he's doing it out of uh, I suppose a a commitment to his friends and and job, but uh, the cost is always high when we have to do something we don't want to do, and uh, that can weigh on a fellow. Um, were you kind of isolated from a lot of the other actors? With you know, you think I mean, obviously you're part of the human faction, like kind of, but you're not really kind of either to a certain extent, like. It's slightly apart from everyone else, I guess. Sure. Was that strange as an actor when everyone else is kind of bonding and forming their little cliques? You're kind of always slightly removed from. God, it's just like going back to high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weirdo in the corner. <laughs> it doesn't change. And then they want stuff from you on top of that. Yeah, and they want to film it. <laughs> How was wearing the costume? Because we got to see just a little sample of that raven cloak, and it was yeah. very grand, and they said it would. A very painstaking labor to to build that. To build that. Mm. Yeah. So was it was it like heavy? Was it comfortable? Was it? Did it make you feel like really like all right? I'm I'm a uh, feather guy. Things. Are <laughs> 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 I'm a bird. <laughs> it, 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 it's not to fall too deep into to, to to new age philosophy. But you can't help but say, if you're in a nice car that's been handmade, you feel the intelligence behind it. Yeah. You feel the intelligence behind wearing a hand-stitched cloak made of raven feathers. They're actually rooster feathers. We're trying to sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that I'm wearing feathers of a cock. <laughs> And make it sound as good. They assured us they didn't kill them. All right, very well. As long as Someone no did. Birds though. were hurt. No, uh, no, they guaranteed they were not the ones hurting the birds. Yeah, but they were some. But they were previously hurt. They were pre-hurt right. birds. It was lunch. It was. Yes. Exactly. She said it something about pollo loco. Yes, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Chipotle, very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. It, 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 first time I put it on, I felt like taking a nap because it, it felt like a sleeping bag, and then they thinned it out and. 
and then uh, yeah, it, it, it shapes you. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering, are you like one of the Warcraft virgins who didn't know too much about the game and anything at all when you were reading the script, or did, did you know bits and pieces, or how familiar uh, were Complete you? Complete virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Complete virgin. What was your What was your initial Im Im impression? Is it like, oh, it's just you know, uh, for example, uh, I, I guess you looked at the game in the meantime sure. and, and the visual style. Mm -hmm. Were you kind of concerned because the game graphics are, you know, a little cartoony and, and stuff like this? Mm -hmm. What was your first reaction, you remember? Well, it's developed. Um, the game being, in many ways, open source, uh, people have taken uh, the fans of the game, the players of the game, the community of the game, have created their own art have created their own versions of these particular kind of characters. So the character of Medivh, there, there, there's quite a bit of fan hmm. literature on, on on this particular character. So, so diving into that uh, and then taking, trying to make that personal, taking aspects that, that it seems that the community that love the game and honoring those aspects uh, whether or not all of them are represented in this particular film, um, at least there's a nuance or a sensibility, and then and then doing my own study of um, how do people in different cultures deal with uh, possession, uh, energetic power. Uh, the, the, these are not new thoughts. These are not new considerations, and they're they've been going on a lot longer than movies have, and this video game has. So diving into to the themes of how can you be one place and then another? How can you harness energy and move someone or something? Uh, and what does it cost you? The, those, that kind of research is, is the thrill of the job. It's an excuse to learn about these kinds of things. <laughs> it's a good excuse. And on that note? Thank you very That's much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Thank